Hey, 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 my king of wives. Welcome back to my channel, to everybody. Not just my king of wives, but this message is mostly for my king of wives. But um, to everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is L.V. Johnson. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you really feeling me. Like, if you really digging my messages if you dig my vibes if you can see yourself being my friend please subscribe okay subscribe comment down below you know if you want to ask questions if you want me to elaborate on anything don't hesitate to talk to me because you know y'all we are friends okay like we're friends so we're family forget friends y'all my family yeah, my hair, I'm not feeling it. But anyways, um, so yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So this is going to be a quick message. Um, so I was just talking to God um, during my shower and I was just telling him like, well, we were just talking or whatever about like kingdom marriages, kingdom spouse, whatever, whatever. So God went on to tell me like your king of spouse is being obedient and is being led by me. His steps are being ordered by mine. So don't get upset with any moves that are being made. Don't try to um, manipulate anything that is happening right now during this time. Don't try to make excuses for nothing that is being doing right now. Like everything that is being done during this season is done being done by God. Like God is ordering every step that is being made. That's not only to that's not only to your um kingdom husbands, but that's also like the kingdom wives as well. But this particular topic is about the kingdom husband. And um but because they're being obedient during this season because they're listening to God because God is ordering their steps y'all marriage is going to be blessed it's going to be blessed abundantly and it's so funny because I was just like God you know send me to a scripture like you know give me confirmation give me understanding of what you're saying and he sent me to Genesis 26 verse 4 and it reads I will make your family as many as the stars of heaven and I will give all these lands to your family through your descendants, every nation on earth will be blessed. So I couldn't really understand, like, how do how does that correlate with the king of spouses or whatever? And I understand the king of spouses are um, family, but I still couldn't understand. So I was like, okay, God, like, but why are you doing this? Like, what is what is the reason for you doing this? And he said, um, and, he, and then he was like, continue reading. And I continued to read, which was verse 5. And it read, I will do this because your father Abraham obeyed my words and did what I said. He obeyed my commands, my laws, and my rules. And that's what I got like, oh, because they're being obedient to you. You're going to bless their family. You're going to bless their marriage. You're going to bless their descendants. You're going to bless everything that is not, um, sorry, that's my son. But you're going to bless everything that is surrounded about, around this union, which we already knew. But it's just confirmation. Like because your kingdom husband is being obedient, because your kingdom husband is the head of the um union, the head of the family, the head of the relationship, the head of the marriage, being that he's the head and being that he's being led and he's being obedient to what he's being led to do, it's gonna bless your family. Like I understand what ladies, we um, wives, we need to be obedient as well. We need to be following with God as well during the season. We need to be fast and we need to be praying during the season. But we also, but we need our husbands, husbands, whether we know them or not, we need them to be doing the same thing. Like we need to be praying to God, like God, please put it on my, my husband. You know, we speaking in, uh, as if we already have them, but you know, you, you're speaking about your husband that you're going to receive, whether you got him or if you don't. But you need to ask God, like, God, I need you to put it on my husband's heart to fast. I need you to put it on his heart to fast so that he can hear you pray, so that he can hear you, for him to be obedient to your word. 
because we need him to be obedient. We need him to be fasting so that our family can be be blessed because of him. And our union and our marriage will be blessed because of him. Yes, lady, we can pray all day and it's going to bless our family as well. But you really want your husband to be praying. You really want your husband to be fasting. You really want your husband to be being led right now by God. Because it's so much temptation, not just for us, but also for men. And being that it, there is so much temptation, we need God in the midst of it right now. Keeping our spouses safe before they come to us. Keeping our spouses sane before they come to us. Healing our spouses before they come to us. Healing us before we go to them. Keeping us safe before we go to them. Like And just, you know... We need God to put that covenant over our husbands. We need that right now. So pray, 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 ask God for him to continue to lead your husband. I love y'all. As I stated, if you dig me, if you like me, my friend, family, whatever, please subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.